Hello guys, welcome back to another shave video. I'm your host Brian, and it's been a few days since I did the last shave video, so I'm doing one today on Sunday, December 2nd. So this will be a mail call. Um, I'll be using a couple new products for uh, this shave. And for my mail call, I got this guy here, which is a Razor Rock Game Changer. And this is the uh, .68 uh, head. That's the shade. That, that's the uh, that's the um, the gap for this razor. So this is like a. It's supposed to be a moderately mild aggressive um, head. So it's not quite. This is supposed to be like a more of a mild shave compared to the 8.5 head, the 0.85 head. So this is a very nice razor. It's got the radio um, knob handle. The whole thing stainless steel. And one thing I like about it is this is very nice. A couple of nice things I want to show you. It's got the uh, serial number on the back of the on the back of the plate. Also, tell you what the what the what the blade gap is and where it's made in Canada. So very nice touch. And just you know the whole thing stainless steel. This is marine grade, uh, I believe, uh, billet stainless steel. So this is very nice, very nice uh, quality construction. And one thing I like about the uh, presentation I, when I got it in the mail, it came in this little leather leather holder, razor holder. So it's really nice. And as you can tell, it says genuine, genuine leather on that on that uh, on this label here. So I'm gonna be using that razor, and I'm gonna be also using my one of my soaps I got from the swag bag at the South Florida Weight Shavers End of the Year Bash, and this is called Project C by. Ariana and Evans, and this is a very nice soap. I probably used this about maybe five times since I, since the uh, end of the year bash, but it's got a very nice scent to it. And the first thing you notice when you open it up, it's got a dark color on the uh, soap, so it's a it's a hard it's a little bit hard soap, not very soft, but very very nice soap base. Um, I believe this is the first. Uh, this is like the first new version of the V, I want to say V16 soap base by Peter Car Carcalis in this soap before he starts making other soaps. So we were the first ones to get this soap base, which is awesome. So this is, this scent is very, very complex. It's kind of, I want to say it's based off of the uh, Raha Dove Creation C cologne, which is a very high-end um, men's cologne. Um, if you look it up on online, you'll see how high end it is, but it's very nice scent. And I'll read you the scent notes in just a second, but let me go ahead and, um, before I begin, show you my brush I'm using tonight, which I'm using this Razor Rock BC Silver Tip uh, Synthetic Brush. This is one of my favorite brushes to use. Very nice knot, uh, very large handle, and I just love the way it looks, the acrylic. It's got the little black in there, it looks very, very... Looks just very, just a very nice looking brush. So let me go ahead and wash my face. All right, guys, I'm back. I just took a nice warm shower, and I forgot to mention I'm using this blade. I'm gonna be using my Pulse Silver blade. So this will be the first use in this razor, and I used this razor uh, once already. So this will be a second use on that razor. So let me go ahead and load this soap up, and I want to also point out that this container is glass. So that's a very nice touch from um, Andy, and I don't know if this, I believe that the people that attended the uh, end of the year bash were the first ones or only ones to get the glass container, so that's a very nice touch. So let me go ahead and shake this, moisture out of this brush and go ahead and load the brush up. And go ahead and try this, use this new soap uh, recipe that Peter Carcalis is debuting with this soap, which is very nice. And I found out that you don't have to really, really don't have to load your brush up very long, the soap base, because it's that, I mean, probably half the time of normal soaps. So normally like 30 seconds I load my brush up, so probably 15 seconds on this soap, because it's, 
just so it's just so slick and just excellent so base all right so I did some research on the notes of the soap of project C went online and I found the uh, scent notes so I'll go ahead and read them I got them taped to my mirror right here so if I'm looking kind of funny I'm looking at my mirror so so the scent notes I found were bergamot geranium jasmine norelli ambergris black pepper cardamom cognac oh, I'm sorry cog cog cognac ginger patchouli sandalwood uh vanilla and tobacco so pretty complex list of scents of ingredients in the soap so definitely I'm gonna be kind of interested it'll be kind of interesting to see what what comes out of this um face lather what, kind of what I smell so anyway I think I'm ready to go ahead and load this on my face well, let me go ahead and rinse my face out real quick here all right all right that should be nice there all right let me go ahead and load my face up here Man, so scent strength right off the bat, it's probably about a five or six. Definitely there. It's not a subtle, not really a subtle uh, scent, but definitely, definitely catches your attention. All right, so I actually ended up, ended up loading this brush up longer than I normally would, but but man, it only takes about 15 seconds. Not even 15 seconds, probably 10 seconds to load this brush up, and you get a, enough lather for like three shaves, three passes. All right, so so off the bat, I can, I can definitely smell the tobacco, vanilla, uh, the black pepper. So it's got, got a, kind of a spicy scent. It's kind of weird because every time I use this soap, it's a different scent I smell. This is the fifth time, I'll, the, well, the sixth time I'll be using this soap. The sixth shave. Because I used it five previous times, so. But each time I smell something different, which is kind of unique about the soap. And as you can tell, the lather is really, really, really thick with this soap base. Let's go ahead and take that first uh, pass with the game changer. And one thing I like about this razor is the the whole blade is actually behind is behind is not sticking out of the uh, the head, so it's it's hidden. The that, that's, you know the side of the blade is actually hidden inside there, inside the top cap and the lower cap, which is a very nice touch. All right, so first pass with my game changer here with the new pole silver blade alright alright that was a nice pass right there so definitely a nice smooth razor Right off the bat with this blade, nice smooth shave. At the time I was ordering this razor, they didn't have the uh, 0.85 gap head, so I couldn't even order that uh, head if I wanted to. But I have sensitive, sensitive skin, so I actually wanted the less aggressive head. But I might actually end up ordering the 0.85 probably down the road. When it's available. All right, so very smooth shaver. This is actually a heavy razor. 
I couldn't find the exact weight online, so I actually weighed this razor myself on the scale, and it turned out to be 105 grams, or 3.7 grams with the, I'm sorry, 3.7 ounces with the handle, with the radio knob handle, so all together it's about 3.7 ounces. Which is pretty heavy razor. Alright, so this is definitely a very nice, smooth shaving razor. I saw that Nick Shaves did a review on this razor. I think he put the head on a uh, Edwin Jagger Calvin handle, so a little bit shorter handle, but I know he seems to like that razor a lot, especially the 6.8 blade gap head here. Which I'm finding out is very, very nice. Very nice shave. Very nice shave. So I'm letting the, I'm letting, I'm letting the weight of the razor guide me so I'm not pushing in at all. And it's just delivering a great shave. Well, that's a good first pass. Uh, let me go ahead and rinse my face. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back with my second pass, second face lather here. And that first pass was excellent, excellent pass. Like I said, my second time using this razor. So usually, usually the first time I use a brand new razor, I end up having some kind of irritation, maybe a, little, maybe a few nicks here and there, but the first time I use this game changer, a couple days ago, I didn't have any nicks or nothing. It was just smooth shave. Just a smooth, just a smooth um, shave all around. No irritation whatsoever. So that was a great, great razor. Right away, from what I tell in the first shave, but second shave is even better. All right, so that should be sufficient for my second pass which will be across the grain. So hope everybody's having a good week so far. Good weekend. Hope everybody's finding their gifts for their family members, their kids, their Significant others. I haven't even started shopping yet, so. But I think I have plenty of time before things, before uh, the 25th. All right. Very nice, very nice pass. I wanted to do a shave video earlier this at, on Friday or even Saturday, but I was under the weather, so I had a cold. Uh, my poor daughter had a cold too, so I'm sure, you know, one of us gave it to each other, but so I was under the weather and just wanted to recover so I could be able to talk on here, on my shave video here, so, so you can understand what I'm saying. But I think I'm on the mend, so that's, that's a good sign. All right, so definitely smell the vanilla and the soap. A little bit of tobacco, I can smell the tobacco. Uh, sandalwood a little bit. It's kind of it's kind of weird. It's like you you smell different scents every time you try the soap. So, but the soap base is is excellent. 
it's got an extensive uh, ingredient list. So uh, I mean, a couple of things I've kind of they were you know they kind of uh, that was surprised about the soap base was this it's a beef it's a beef tallow soap base. Also has uh, goat's milk. I mean, there's a few other things in this ingredient list that that are really makes it really slick. So definitely a nice uh, residual slickness on the soap. Uh, let me go ahead and rinse my face, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back for my uh, final pass. I just want to show you the ingredient list. I don't know if you guys can see that. So anyway, it's got. Uh, Stearic acid, uh, it says goat's milk, beef tallow, uh, shea butter, and there's a few other things on there, you can see that. Also, uh, cocoa butter, mango butter, uh, cocoa, cocoa butter, glycerin, castor oil. There's a lot of stuff in this, in this um, a lot of good stuff in this ingredient list. Uh, well, good, definitely a good job, uh, Peter Cartalis, on this soap. Well, let me go and do that last uh, face lathering here. So one thing about the soap, it was offered to the South Florida Witch Shavers group. It was made for the group, but one thing about this group is like, we, we I believe they sold the swag bag to anybody that wanted it. Online, so you can order it. I, I know the uh, administrators. I think Brian Myers, Anthony Mc, McKenzie, uh, Tim's up. I'm pretty sure that I saw a lot of posts about them offering the swag bag to all the different shade groups on Facebook. So really, anybody can could have ordered the swag bag and got the soap. So hopefully, many people did order this soap because this stuff is amazing. <laughs> There was like two different soaps in the swag bag. It was this one and, and uh, one another one made by Oleo Soap Works called Citrus Verde, which I'll do a review on that soon too. That is a very nice soap as well. So, all right, so that's a nice little lather right there. Let me go ahead and do against the grain here. Man, this razor just shaves so smooth. So this is probably a great daily driver for any new wet shaver or even experienced wet shaver. And it's such a good value too. I think I only paid $55 for this razor, so. You can't beat a good quality stainless steel razor for $55 from Italian barber, so. Definitely well done, Joe, from Italian barber. That was a very good, very good uh, razor to make. So in comparison, I, I think I did a video on the the Mamba a few weeks ago, maybe a couple weeks ago I did a Mamba video. So in comparison to, to this razor and that razor, I think this one shaves a little bit better, a little bit more smoother. I think the blade gap on the Mamba is like 0.58 or something, so this is a little bit more aggressive, but for some reason this is just a better shaver, just not a lot more smoother. And one of the things that Nick Shaves mentioned about this razor, I watched his video, is the, uh, the little holes on the bottom, the shave channels, so it kind of pushes, pushes the lather out. 
so you don't clog your razor as you're shaving, as you're doing each pass. And I can see what he's talking about. Very nice touch. All right, let me go underneath my nose. Very nice, good sized head to get close to your nostrils here. No problem, definitely there. All right. All right, that was a nice, nice pass. Well, let me go ahead and rinse my face and I'll be back for the final, the final part of my shave. All right, guys, I'm back for my uh, final part of my shave. I'm gonna be using the Project C aftershave. So, nice little bottle, nice little presentation there. And I'm gonna shake this up. And I wanna say this is a witch hazel based aftershave. So, I'm kind of curious about the scent on this on this uh, aftershave. I never put it on. All right, let's go ahead and try this on my face. So definitely nice, strong aftershave. Very nice feeling though. Yeah, pretty strong. I would say probably about seven or eight on scent strength. So definitely you can use this for a cologne if you wanted to. Ah oh, man, but it smells so good, so. I usually don't put aftershave on at night, but love to scent on this stuff. I have to use it. So, so anyway, guys, that's my shave for the week. The week with my weekend shave. So my recap: I use this um, Razor Rock uh, Game Changer .68 head with the Radio Knob stainless steel handle. Very very fine shaver, and just a nice nice razor. I mean just. The quality construction is is just quality. It's got the serial number on the back of the plate. The the rate the the blade is hidden there, so you don't have to worry about the the side of the blade scraping your face. Just a very very nice razor. So my brush I used was my Razor Rock BC Silver Tip Synthetic Brush. Love the handle on this brush, but more importantly, love the knot. Knot is awesome. Nice backbone, nice way it splays. Just a very nice, just a very nice brush to use. So I use that, and last but not least, well actually, one more thing. I use the Pulse Silver First Use Blade, which is one of my, which is my favorite blade to use. Uh, I use the Project C soap, made by Ariana Evans. Great, great soap. Um, if you guys see this, or if you guys had a chance to get it with a swag bag, it's totally worth it. If you guys see this for sale on any of the uh, buy, sell, or trade forms, I definitely encourage you to get this stuff. It's that damn good. So great soap, great aftershave too also. And that's pretty much it for my shave. Excellent shave, I just love this razor. I just love the little travel bag it came with. Just a nice touch, a super nice touch. So anyway guys, thanks for, thanks for watching my, my uh, shave. Shave of the weekend, and I will definitely um, do no one soon. Hopefully, maybe before next weekend. So definitely keep an eye out for my video. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, just hit like, and please hit subscribe if you like watch my videos, because I have a lot of fun making these videos. So definitely hit subscribe. And I hope you guys have a good week. And I guys, and I will see you later, guys. Take care.